Plagues have been recorded in history since ancient times. While some nations perished during these calamities, others survived. Here are some historical accounts in China's Northern Song Dynasty. According to the History of Song, one of the official Chinese historical works, a major plague occurred during the Emperor Renzhong's time, causing many to suffer. The Emperor did not blame his officials, but instead focused on self-reflection and examined whether his governance goes against humanity or conforms to the way of heaven. He also temporarily suspended the daily ceremony in which court officials would visit and greet him. When the major plague struck the capital area, Emperor Renzhong first thought of the poor and sick. He ordered his palace physicians to gather experienced medical practitioners to provide consultations and medicines for the poor in every county. To combat the plague, Emperor Renzhong ordered the palace physicians to research prescriptions and to produce medicine for the people. He ordered his palace staff to use precious medicinal herbs and ingredients, which even included a rhinoceros horn. Concerned for the rarity of these ingredients, a palace staff asked the emperor if he would like to reserve it for the palace. Emperor Renzhong was not happy at all and responded, Am I a person who places a higher value in rare ingredients than the lives of my people? He then smashed the horn and ordered his staff to use it for the people. Inspired by Emperor Renzhong's generosity, many local and virtuous officials followed suit. The plague gradually receded and the capital was saved from harm. Zhao Bian, a high-ranking government official in the Northern Song Dynasty, was loved by the public. According to the history of Song, Zhao respectfully reported to heaven every night of things he did during the day. As a result, Zhao was sympathetic to the people and didn't burden them with overcomplicated policies. When Zhao was governing Yuzhou, which is part of today's Zhejiang province, a plague occurred in his area, simultaneously developing in Shanghai and the Anhui province, which is today's Jiangsu province. During this period, he never slacked even slightly and presided over the relief work of his people. At that time, due to the drought and plague, half the people in other counties died. However, the areas governed by Zhao Bian showed less severe damages. In this regard, Zheng Gong praised Zhao in a book. Although his charitable acts are in Yuzhou, his benevolence should be shown to the world. During the years of Emperor Renzhong, Tongzhi Privy Council Governor Guan Shiren was studying when he met some tall, gritty ghosts on the first day of New Year. He asked where they came from and why they were there. They said, we are ghosts of plague. We will spread the plague on earth on the first day of New Year. Guan Shiren asked, will my family be affected? The plague ghosts replied, no. Guan was puzzled and asked why his family would be spared. The ghosts said, if three generations of ancestors of a family have accumulated virtue, we cannot enter the house and there will be no plague. Sure enough, the plague happened that year and Guan's family was safe and sound. If one reflects upon oneself during natural disasters and does good deeds, whether the person is a king, a minister, or a commoner, within whatever his or her scope of responsibility is, people will see a reduction in calamities and a rise in righteousness. History has left precious wisdom to future generations. Since ancient times, when society declined in morality, the plague soon followed. In the face of the plague, only by returning to morality and goodness from the heart can we obtain the protection from the divine beings, thereby escaping disasters and continuing to have a future.